In this video, I play competitive Pokemon, but I can only use Wooper. Yep, I got four Pokemon. I have Paldean Wooper, Clodzire, Quagsire, and of course, OG Wooper. This team is not great, but you know, it's pretty fun, so let's get into it. Okay guys, this is our team. First up, we have regular Wooper, has a Focus Sash, and can get up hazards, and then basically just die. Its stats are terrible, and it's really not that great. Wooper Paldean, though, has a cool typing, and Water Absorb works very well on this Pokemon. Give it an Eevee Light, boost its defenses, and also give it the move stockpile can raise its defense and special defense by one stage and then its defenses are actually like pretty crazy and give it the move body pressed and it can use its defense as an attack stat in damage calculation pretty crazy stuff then we have quagsire here with the unaware ability so it ignores other people's stat boost which is very important because we have to play the tier anything goes because you're not allowed to have two whoopers on the same team it's pretty broken quagsire has the moves earthquake recover curse and liquidation Hopefully, it can set up a couple curses and become quite a scary threat. Then lastly, we have Clodzire. Very cool, very derpy. Rocky Helmet, Unaware, Haze, Earthquake, Toxic, and Recover. Kind of a support Pokemon. There you go. That's the team. Let's see how it does. Okay, first battle. We're playing Anything Goes because we have two Whoopers, which apparently you're not allowed to have in a normal game because it's just too broken, you know? So I'm going to go with our little Whooper here first, the OG. He's just going to be our, our hazard setter, right? We just get Stealth Rocks here and maybe Spikes if we're lucky. But realistically, we're probably just getting Stealth Rocks. Okay, we get our Stealth Rocks up. Now I'm going to go for the Spikes, right? And what I can... No, no, no. Let's just go for Spikes. So I'm, I was going to overcomplicate it by, like, Encoring, but that's really just not necessary. I'm going to just... Yeah, one more layer of Spikes. Boom. We're maxed out. We got all the Spikes, all the Stealth Rocks. Pretty solid stuff. Now I switch out into Clodzire. He gets rid of the Toxic Spikes, right? And I have the freest Earthquake of all time. Just right here. Boom. This kills, I'm pretty sure. He might be Sashed. Ooh, no, that doesn't kill. Wow, Clodzire, uh, not as... Ooh, wow, 188 attack is not ideal. Okay, but we have the hazards we need now. Now we just gotta stall him out. That's all this team can do. We, we play stall, slow game here, we win. Dondozo, big hazard damage. Love it. Now, he's going to go for a water move. I'm going to go into my little whooper, who will also remove the toxic spikes, and he has water absorb. So we're chilling. Let's see if I read this right. Water move, water move, water move, please. Heal us. No, that's not going to heal us. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to recover here. We can also stockpile. Let's stockpile once. Oh, he goes for a water move absolutely baited okay th this is like potential here body press could like run through his team other than the fact that we cannot hit flutter main at all other than that running through his team okay he goes aqua tail i don't think he understands how water absorb works but it doesn't matter now we have plus two defense and plus two special defense and i'm gonna go for it one more time because you can only go for stockpile three times i don't know why it seems very arbitrary but you know whatever now i see how oh we should probably put him to sleep oh my god he forfeits easy win easy win whooper wins these okay this battle looks pretty normal for anything goes like sometimes you'll see like six rcs's or something crazy this just looks like a normal team i'm gonna go into a whooper here the og whooper put up some stealth rocks that is our game plan he goes scissor we'll just go for the stealth rocks in fact since he did that sword stance i think he's gonna do it again yep okay I encore him into that. He is now forced to sword stance for the next four turns. We just put up spikes, you know, one step ahead. Now we're gonna get like two or three layers of spikes, which is pretty crazy because everything that comes in will be taking 25% minimum. And then you add stealth rocks on top of that. Charizard comes in, he's taking 75% just on entry. Can't actually do anything to this though. So I'm just gonna encore off of whatever he does here. Bullet punch, okay. You're, you're now locked into that. Have fun. Now we go into our Quagsire, who's unaware, so it ignores all those attack boosts, takes 8%, and he has to bullet punch these next couple turns. So, we're going to curse. Don't curse, kids. But we're cursing because it boosts our attack and our defense. Pretty crazy stuff. Honestly, right here, I'm feeling really good. Just like four whoopers, and we're chilling. We got Quagsire, Clodsire, two whoopers, goaded team. Times two attack and times two defense. Pretty great stuff. Close combat does no damage. We get another curse. I'm just going to keep cursing, you know. 
the more cursing the better uh we can go all the way up to times four attack and times four defense i feel no pressure off of this pokemon doing six percent to us yeah okay now we're times three attack and defense so look at that 600 attack 885 defense not overkill at all the issue here though one special attacker and we're ruined i got nothing for it my special defense is 166 so less than ideal if this thing has freeze dry that would be uh times four effective on 166 defense i'm just gonna earthquake here oh he dragon dances perfect boom you're dead what will he go into now i mean these hazards are just gonna kill him look at that damage wow don't even gotta do anything earthquake again he dark pulses 44 percent fine eat that earthquake dead and just like that we're tied up at four of peace folks charizard i'm just gonna recover this seems like a great turn to recover Yep, he doesn't get the Omni Boost that Ancient Power can give. Then we just Liquidation this turn. Boom, Dragon Dances, Goober, boom, you're dead. Now he's down to three Mons. Greninja, not too worried about. Earthquake should definitely kill, even if this thing is like Protean into a different type. 3%, boom, you're dead. Now he just has two Mons left, Dragapult and Scizor. Dragapult takes a, a good amount of damage on entry, and then we can just, we have to liquidation here since he has an air balloon, we cannot go for an earthquake. 66% though, nothing to sneeze at. And then we can just earthquake through the rest of the game. Boom, he forfeits. Look at that. Team of just Quagsires and, and Whoopers. Insane. Overpowered. Someone nerfed them.